Hello, my name is Ricky Shade. I am a visual artist and I was told by a close mutual friend of ours that you were interested also in becoming an artist. So I decided to create this video series just for you. This is my video series called How to Be an Artist and today we are filming part four. In part one, I explained that First, you had to decide for yourself that you are an artist. In episode two, I told you to go out into the world and find your inspiration and plant the seeds of inspiration within yourself. And in episode three, I told you how important it is to as early as possible begin learning the fundamentals of art. Today in episode four, we are gonna talk about making art, finding your own unique style and following your joy. Yes, that's right. You need to make art. You're an artist. You've decided to be an artist. Make art. It's that simple. <laughs> there's, there's a lot more to it, but it is so important that you are making art, that you are really taking that into your life. You're not going to be an artist or have the life of an artist if you only make art once a month or a couple times a year. You need to be making art, okay? You need to make art uh, in your sleep. You need to make art as soon as you wake up. As soon as you get home, you're making art. Quit your job, make art. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously, there has to be some kind of balance, right? Uh, but you just want to make it a part of your routine. So I try to have a couple days of the week that are a dedicated studio day. And then like I do go out and I work jobs and I teach and things like that. And I try to also work on art in the evenings. Uh, sometimes I'm too tired and I can't. Sometimes I don't have the mojo or the creative spiritual energy to do it based on what's going on in my life. So you, you do have to kind of understand that there's a flow to it. Um, but you just need to have it as a part of your routine, okay? Through the act of making art, uh, you will get better and better. And so in, in like the last episode, I told you about learning the fundamentals. When you're in a phase of learning, that doesn't mean that you don't have to create personal artwork. Like if you're just learning and all you're doing is like exercises and, and you're just studying, you might lose your joy. And I really think it's so important as an artist to follow your joy. So be making art that makes you happy to make. Be making the art that your soul is yearning and crying out for you to make, okay? I know that if I go through periods where I don't do that, I get severely depressed and it's not good. I have to be making time to make my art because I'm an artist. It's something I have to be doing, okay? and. Another thing is like, once you start getting a professional reputation and people start approaching you for commissions, I find it really hard to take on a lot of commissions and only be doing commission work. Like, I do like to do some commissions, but if it overwhelms my, my personal creative time, it just really kills me. So my advice to you is to honor that you need to make art, that there's this art pouring out of you that you need to make. Honor that and make the time for that and make that a part of your routine. And a lot of times people, like people come to me and they say, your work is so unique. Like when I look at your work, I know automatically that it's by you. How did you develop this unique style? And my answer to that would be that I followed my joy and I followed my own creative spirit. It's not like I sat down one day and I said, I'm gonna make art in this style and this is the art that I'm gonna make and I'm gonna frame it like this, I'm gonna brand myself like this. It's like, that. that's not how I approached it. I made art from the heart and I just kept doing that and following that kind of joy and inspiration. And while doing that at the same time as learning the fundamentals, at the same time as 
going out in the world, finding inspiration from other artists, from other types of art, from wherever you find inspiration, those three elements together will grow together into a unique voice, a unique creative style that will be your style as an artist. So don't try to force it. Um, I also really advise not like jumping on trends. So a lot of times when I see people get into art, they'll they'll start looking up like what's trendy in the art world and they'll try to jump on those bandwagons, but it kind of comes across as like not genuine and you really want your art to come from the heart because that's when it's going to have your unique creative signature on it. And it's, it's just really important that it's coming from an authentic place. I mean, obviously you can find out what's selling and if you're really technically proficient and you create that really well, you could have a commercial career as an artist. You could be wildly successful, but I don't recommend that. I'm really a strong advocate for creating art that honors your spirit and that is the art that you want to create. What message do you have for the world? What images and things are in you that have to come out? That is the type of art that you want to create. And when I say follow your joy, right, your art might not be rooted in joy. You might be following a different emotion. Um, but just follow what comes up from here, what comes through you. Honor yourself with what you create. I really think that's so important. And by doing that, you will find your unique style. And if you keep making art, keep making art, keep making art, keep making art, keep learning, keep following your joy, you'll get better and better, you'll create more and more authentic work, you'll learn things about yourself you didn't know, you'll explore these incredible creative frontiers that you never thought possible. It really, really is immaculate. It's a miracle that we can create art like this in this time. It's We are so blessed and so lucky. And so that's the message of this episode in this series is make art and make the art that comes from your heart. And that is where you'll find your true power, your true voice as an artist and as a creator. And I can't wait to see what you create because it's gonna be amazing. Thank you so much for joining me for this video, episode four. I'm really loving making these videos and I really hope that I can get through to some people uh, and share how incredible it is to be an artist. It's just really so amazing. So thank you so much. Thank you for going on this journey of being an artist. You are worthy. You are an artist and the things that you can create, it's infinite. I'll see you next time.